Hello, and welcome back to our Alphatron DSP video series. This is part two, and today we will look at how to connect to your Alphatron DSP. Well, let's get started. So firstly, once you have the, the software downloaded and installed from our alphatronelectronics.com website, um, you will basically have this icon come up uh, for the software itself. It will be installed on your Windows desktop. Um, quite simple, double click to open the software and just select any of the modules uh, that comes up standard. So we'll just select the 8x8 because we're connecting to an 8x8 unit. It will basically bring you up the standard interface. And once the interface is, is open, it is quite simple. You will click on device list in order to scan the network to see any connected DSPs on your network. Now, once you, you do the scan, you'll see that the, the first time you connect to the DSP, it'll come up with a link local uh, address or a self-assigned IP address. So the system is not populated with um, an address, obviously uh, from, from a new model. So this is a, a new model that's been set up uh, or has not been set up yet. So once we have scanned our network, we would need to make sure that we are either in the same range as the DSP or in the case like I have now, I, I'm getting a DHCP uh, address from my network. And I know that my address is in the 192.168.1 range. I can just go, go ahead and connect to uh, the DSP and set its IP directly from this the scan menu. So again, any anytime you press scan, any additional DSPs that might be connected um, would be would come up on the range. And it doesn't matter what DSP uh, what the DSP's IP address is, the scan will actually pick up the units and it will come up um, in the scan. So because I already have my my computer set up, I'm not going to look at necessarily changing my IP address. Um, but for the guys that might need to just make sure that your uh, computer is in a static IP, just navigate to your Windows network settings, navigate to your Ethernet connection, and then make sure you give yourself a static IP address uh, before continuing, because then you would be able to, to assign the DSP to that static IP, and that's obviously if you're not getting a DHCP address. So in this case now, I'm going to click on Set IP, and I'm going to assign the unit into my IP range and, and I've confirmed that I can use .10 as my IP. That's an open IP address on my network. And my net mask will be 255.255.255.0. So once I click OK, it tells me that the device information has been saved successfully to the device. You will see that automatically now it's refreshed my device list and it's refreshed my DSP's name. So it's, uh, sorry, IP address. So it is now uh, .1.10 as I've set it up. Now I can basically just connect to the DSP and there you go. You will see now on the left tab here, I'm connected to uh, the DSP. The green indicator light here shows me that I am connected and it's connected to ALF DSP 88U. That's the model of my DSP. So when that's done, I can just click anywhere and the device window uh, will close. If I want to now access any uh, features or any additional network settings on the unit, I can click on settings, device settings. And in here, I can now set up all my control aspects of the unit. Now you will see that the gateway is still not correct. So I can just go ahead and set up the unit to be in my uh, gateway for my network. Uh, alternatively, you can al always just leave that blank as well. So uh, there's basically all your settings. You can give it a friendly name. If you have multiple DSPs, you can call it the room that it's in or the area that, it, that it's uh, being controlled in. So you can give that device a, a friendly name. And like I said, change all your network settings. You can also set up a default preset that the device must uh, recall upon start. So when the device has been powered down, every time it powers back up, it can load a specific uh, preset uh, if you wish. 
at this point the the default uh, mode is just previously loaded preset so whatever the preset was that was last loaded uh, it will boot up in the same state alternatively you can also just select presets 1 through 16 once you have then configured them uh, and set them up to be a default on state furthermore you can uh, use a central control response we spoke about that uh, briefly central control is essentially the third party control system um, that you can set up and control different aspects of the DSP. So uh, by default, it again is on. So you can always turn that off so you don't have um, external control over the unit. You can also turn on real-time saving. So it'll basically just update any setting changes you make um, to the unit uh, directly as you make them. Um, in terms of the control, uh, the unit is always on UDP port uh, 5000 and so you can always change those ports if you need to and then you can further set your RS-232 and your RS-485 board rates uh, directly from here. So once I click OK, again it saves that device information and then I can just go ahead and close the window. Well, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already and make sure you have the notification bell activated so you can be notified whenever the next AlphaTron DSP video in the series is uploaded. See you soon.